Good evening. Meal of the night is I'm going to attempt to make hot pot. Uh, hot pot. Uh, Google it yourself. Uh, I haven't made hot pot in a long, 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 long time. I love eating different hot pot style meals. So uh, figured, what the heck? Give it a shot. Kids love it too. So, anyways, I am using a old school style clay pot. Uh, ingredients for this evening, because uh, my time is limited with watching two kids, I'm going to be using some uh, just some vegetable stock. Uh, some other ingredients that are going to be going in at celery hearts or celery stalks. I'll be chopping those up. Uh, I'm putting carrots in there. Uh, mushrooms for the broth. Uh, we're going to do chicken tonight. Uh, you can do chicken, beef, pork, lamb, dog, cat, your neighbor, whatever you choose. Uh, whatever you have a taste for, whatever's available in your part of the world. And I'm also going to be putting a little bit of uh, imitation crab meat. I don't have any real stuff at the moment, but uh, I have to finish off that packet anyway, so what the heck, why not? Uh, I suppose I probably forgot one of the most important things, which was noodles. I do not have... Oh, I do have noodles, but not the ones I wanted. I only got this kind of noodles, it looks like. Not the ones I wanted. Uh, I gotta make another trip to the market. Not tonight anymore. But, uh, oh. But here we go. It's amazing what you can find sitting in your cabinet. Ooh, fine noodles. Egg noodles. Here we go. Alright, perfect. Now I got the noodles. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Uh, not see. Okay, we're done. Uh, we're gonna start. No. You're not gonna have to watch me chop everything up. So let's make some room here. I don't wanna fry anything. Pot's gonna go on this front burner here. Doesn't have to be crazy. You know what? Better yet, the little burner back here should be much better. Yeah, I'm gonna start with filling the pot about halfway with the broth, and while that's heating up, oh, and I'm gonna start a pot of water for the noodles. Actually, I might just use my cast iron pan. Yes, water plus cast iron. I don't care anymore. That pan gets used three times a day. Uh, so we're going to start by filling the hot pot halfway with broth. We can use beef broth, uh, uh, chicken broth, vegetable broth, you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm not following any specific recipe tonight. Uh, we can always, we're going to add more broth later, and of course you can always make your broth from, from scratch as well. There we go. Fire going. But you don't want to fill it up all the way because... Uh, well, if, then you don't have any room to add ingredients. So we can always add a little bit more uh, once the ingredients are, are in the pot. Uh, it's not the biggest pot. Uh, it's the largest I could find locally. So I'm going to get to boiling some noodles and uh, uh, chopping up some veggies. Now what we got going on here, I have the noodles. They're pretty much done. I'm just keeping those warm at the moment. I have the hot pot. Give you guys a look of what's in, how it all looks. Well, if only you could smell this. Um, I did add a few other ingredients. Um, I added uh, about two teaspoons, uh, or about a tablespoon of uh, minced garlic. I also added um, some pepper, ground, fresh ground pepper, um, and some strips of onion. Uh, now, traditionally, how this is supposed to be served 
is uh, the pot is brought to your table and placed over a uh, fire or a heating element to keep it boiling. And the idea behind it is um, uh, you actually cook your meat straight at, right at your table. Uh, it's also common with the, uh, the soup called pho, which is a Vietnamese soup, um, where as your, your bowl is brought with your meat and your vegetables in it, then they, you pour the hot soup into the bowl and it cooks in your bowl. Um, similar concept here. Um, problem for me being I have two small children that will be sitting at the table and uh, just with how young they are at the moment uh, it's a little too dangerous to be to be putting uh, hey you guys stop fighting in there a little too dangerous to be putting a, a nice hot boiling pot of water or soup right at the table so instead and instead of cooking it here um, I'm actually going to stir fry our chicken at least to a certain extent And I am stir frying this in just a bit of sesame oil. Another ingredient, entirely optional. I really like poison sauce, which is a, like an Asian barbecue sauce. Uh, smells good. Just a little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to put a little dab. Our soup. Uh, what this will add is more of a little bit of a sweetness uh, in, the US, in the United States and uh, most of what I found also in Canada. Uh, hoisin sauce is a little more on the sweeter side, which, while well, in Asian countries, um, namely uh, Vietnam, well, I've only been to two or three, Vietnam and Korea, I found that it's not as sweet. Uh, North Americans like sweet foods, I guess. Turn that heat down a little too low. So, I am going, since I just added the uh, onions in the hot pot here. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, yeah. And put our cover back on. Let that simmer. Up around there. This should be ready in about five minutes, at least the chicken, because it, it actually is cut fairly, fairly thin. So, uh, in about five minutes, uh, we'll be sitting at the. Uh, dining room table and uh, enjoying this delicious meal. And here we are, all said and done. Uh, we're having our nice sit down di at dinner with our lovely dinosaur placemats. Now, of course, normally, for obvious reasons, you'd keep the chicken separate from the noodles because normally the chicken would not be cooked as of yet. It's a little too hot yet to grip my bare hand. Very hot. So we have our hot pot soup. Soup. Uh, or whatever you want to call it. Um, now I have uh, our noodles, egg noodles. Uh, rice noodles would work nice too. I just don't have any. Um, Vinny, 
I know you're hungry. Yeah. Vinny's hungry. We have our chicken. Now, like I said, it's already cooked. I stir fried it. Uh, we will be adding it in our bowls and eating it as we would if we cooked them in with the broth. It's not going to taste quite as good, but uh, in the interest of safety, I don't have to have a hot plate out here then. And uh, bon appetit! So. Careful! Soap. Some noodles in the bowl. Soup. Get that soup. And normally you'd put your raw chicken soap. in with it. Soap. Soap. And, whoa, ho, ho. Daddy, soap. And like I say, this is also a smaller size hot pot. Soap. 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 So I couldn't make as much broth as what I would have liked. So I would have liked, I and mean, I have enough Soap. ingredients to cook enough for three, Soap. four days. Soap. And since I'm cooking the meat separate, yes, you know, no. um, I could have just did the broth, and then tomorrow we could have done uh, beef or pork instead of chicken. But you know, chicken. You know what? I might have to pre-cut some of this for you, buddy. Show everybody your chopsticks. Show your chopsticks. Look at your spe show everybody your special chopsticks. Six. Can I show? No spoon. Neatest things ever for the little ones. Gibby. It's called a clothespin chopstick. Mm -hmm. Looks like a clothespin. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So, just a little bit. You no. There. Ah. Uh -uh. mm -hmm. Very good. Very hot. So you wait. No. And there we go. Uh, Enjoy. Chicken. chicken. Oh, and uh, this video is dedicated to our very favorite friend Wendy, whom we hope to see in February after a 12,000 mile flight. That's hot. You're sticking that whole piece of chicken in your mouth at one time. I told you that's hot. <laughs> Bite. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye. Say I love you. I love you.